newly crowned World 9 Ball 2017 champion Carlo Bayadu of the Philippines has been chasing the title since 2010 and the joyous feeling of winning it at last in Doha, Qatar Thursday outweighed the agony of the years of waiting, trying and losing. I waited for this title since 2010 when I lost in the World 10 Ball Championship in the semifinals. This has been my dream to become a world champion. I wanted that for myself as a personal achievement and for my family as well, the 34-year-old Bayadu of Quezon City said in a Facebook interview with Sunstar Devo Friday. Bayadu, an Asian indoor and martial arts games, AMIG, 2017 bronze medalist, rooted fellow Filipino Roland Garcia, 13-5, in their titular showdown after whipping Lin Wu Kun of Chinese Taipei, 11 6, in the semifinals. He said, I expected a little bit on that match because we are both Filipinos. We didn't know who will win the game. But I expected to win when I scored, 7 0, as it's too far for him to come close. Bayadu said that his recent feat is para sa pamilya, malaga ko na sila sa stable na boy. Ang panalo k inale k o s a asawat m g a anak k o at para s a karen galan n g aiding bansa. He, however, said that achieving his world title dream is not the end of his career as he still want to continue doing campaigns abroad. Bahay Nalan Pulang, he 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 he, he replied when asked what else could a world champion like him would still wish to have in life. He added, I want to earn more and have a business to be the best of the best in the world. He bagged $40,000 in Qatar but the share he will get, according to him, will not be enough to build their own house as he has to share the prize money with his sponsor, Predator Cues. After he competed in AMIG in Turkmenistan, he went to the United States for the US Open and World Series Championship then had a stint in the All Japan Championship before he proceeded to Qatar. Bayadu said, Worth it name in laha ng peg to tie is may kapalit laha basta to ala lang k lord. He is returning home today, Saturday, and will spend the rest of the holidays with his family to make up for the lost time before he embarks on another busy competition schedule in 2018.